Welcome. I'd like to present you the Audio Control 12.8, uh, our new audio matrix with control processing possibilities. The unit has 12 inputs and 8 outputs. And unique with the unit is the fact that it can be programmed uh, in three different ways. The first and most easy way is the out-of-the-box configuration where actually no programming at all is needed. The second way is the installer mode, uh, which means that it can be operated by people that have very limited audio knowledge. And then you have the expert level mode, where people that have knowledge about audio and DSP processing can do full programming of the unit. Like I said, uh, it has 12 inputs, 6 of them are balanced, 6 of them are unbalanced, and there is an extra SPDIF digital input. They can very easily be linked to become a stereo input, and for each of the inputs you can select whether it's a microphone mix or a music source. Of course, each of the inputs needs to be labeled uh, in order to make the life of the end user a bit easier. Configuring the outputs is very easy as well via the intuitive graphical installer interface and you can select what type of output you would like. Either a mono output, and again you need to name the zone, or it can be, for example, a stereo crossover. Uh, or a stereo with sub output for a 2.1 system. Again, labeling it. Then, very easy, you can name your project and you can name the author who has filled in the project. You can then upload it to the audio control unit and from then on, you are live and active in the device. Where it is very easy for you, well, obviously, it needs to synchronize with the device uh, so that all the data is now stored in the unit. From then on, each action you do will be done live in the audio control and you have a constant live feed of what you are doing with your DSP processing. I'm going to wait for a second until the upload has done. Here we are. Uh, you can go to the audio input screen and for each of the balanced inputs you have an analog gain and a digital gain available. And in case you have a microphone selected, uh, you can easily uh, select here the, the, excuse me, you can select easily which input you want to uh, adjust and you can set the analog gain, you can link them or unlink them if you want a difference in the left and the right channel input. You can then do the EQ processing uh, where you have a graphic overview of exactly what you are doing. For example, low shelf, you can select whatever kind of filter you would like, a peak filter, adjust the Q factor, and adjust the frequency where you want it to be active at. So, very easy to do. On the dynamics part, again, you have the choice of compressor, limiter, gate, ALC, or a gate plus compressor, uh, which can also be adjusted by all the variables we talked about. On the outputs, you have a clear overview in each zone. Here you select the zone you want to adjust, which music source you want to listen to, adjust the volume, and for all the microphones, as they can be mixed with each other, you have the microphone mix level to control the overall. Output trim is available to adjust the balance between left and right. And again, a crossover where you can adjust the slope in the way you would like it. If you don't want any crossover at all, it can be easily defeated here. On the EQs, if you have used the crossover, one is uh, lost by doing that and then you have a three band graphical EQ available together with a limiter or a compression limiter as you wish. Wall panel program is very easy and the wall panel can do volume select, can be source select, volume control, it can do macro recall or whatever you like. Connecting a paging station is very easy as well and each of the buttons of the paging mic can be programmed to do exactly that function that you would like. As I said, the unit has control proce processing uh, possibilities and that can easily be done uh, because the unit has two serial ports at the back that can be used to control other devices or to have the unit controlled by a touch panel control software. Via the macro programming, you can very easily record a series of commands that can be done. Very easy to do, you press the record button, you name the macro you want to do, and from then on, everything you are doing now is actually going to be recorded and that macro will be replayed upon your request. 
So it could be that in the output I say I want my volume to go to 0 dB and I want the source to be on that selection. I then press stop and the macro has been recorded. Recalling the macro can be done very easily by pushing the play button or on your wall panel for example you can say here I want the function 4 of the macro it needs to be of the wall panel needs to be a macro recall and the macro I want to do is this one and then you upload it into the system well of course you need to give a zone name or assign each wall control action to a zone that you want to control and then it's uploaded into the system unique with the unit is the connection diagram where it says your project name and all the information and it clearly shows you where you need to connect which amplifier for which zone where you need to connect which wall control and where you need to connect uh, all your inputs and outputs very easy to give to your installer or to add to your public tender uh, offer or any other thing unique with the system is the fact that like I said it can be used in three different modes in the installer mode the guy has no access to EQ settings and DSP processing. In the expert level mode, which you can get certified for on our website, uh, you need to enter your expert uh, code and then you can program the unit. The advantage is that only people with an expert code are able to alter your programming. On top of that, as an expert level user, you can lock the unit so that it can only unlock by you or by your, someone in your company. And in that way, people are bound to you and will always return to you if they want any update done. That's about it. I hope you uh, like the product and feel free to check out our website for more information. Thank you.